I'm on page five of your sample assessment paper, the Gray's Office Stores Task 3. Now, ideally, I would like you to do Task 3 before you even start the SAGE um, by putting the nominal codes along the side of the table, only because it will speed up your typing when you get here. So remember the video in the level one that I gave you with regards to the nominal codes. Your fixed assets are zeros, your current assets are ones, your current liabilities are two, your capitals are three, your sales are four, your purchases are five, and everything else is under seven. So it's saying, refer to the list of the nominal ledger accounts below taken from the spreadsheet that the business has been using. Set up the nominal ledger records for each account, entering open balances, if applicable, as at the 1st of June, ensuring you select or amend or create the appropriate nominal codes. So we're dealing with nominal codes, so I'm going to go to nominal codes. We want to create our nominal codes and we want to put in their opening balances, so we're going to go to new. Now, the first one on my list is computer equipment. Computer equipment is a fixed asset, so I will press zero. If I've got computer equipment, then I will use it. If I don't, I can select one that is close and change the name. So I'm going to use office equipment and I'm going to change the name to be computer equipment. Equipment. Dash cost. Make sure you write this nominal code on your paper next to it on the left hand side so you know then what code you used and you don't have to spend your time looking through 9999 nominal codes to find out what nominal code did you use for computer equipment. When we've done that we'll click on opening balance, we'll save it making sure that we spell it correctly. Everything must be exactly how it is on the paper. So, small e. Now I'm going to save it. I've been told it's an opening balance. I need to amend the date to be the 1st of June. It's on the debit side, so I'll put it on the debit side. And then I just press save and save again. Because it's a fixed asset, it's still going to be under the zero and it's accumulated depreciation, so I'm going to use 0031. I'm going to change the name. Equipment. It's accumulated. Making sure that I've spelt it exactly how it is on the paper, and I'm going to use 0031 and I'm going to write that on my paper. So remember when you're doing fixed assets, you're going to have the fixed asset cost and then the fixed asset accumulated depreciation. They must be under the same number. So where computer equipment was 0030, computer equipment accumulated depreciation will be 0031. When I'm happy with that and I've written it on my paper, I'm going to click on opening balance, 1st of June, this one's on the credit side, so I'll put this on the credit side and save. And save again. Delivery vehicle is a fixed asset, so I'll click zero. And see if I've got anything for vehicle. Motor vehicle, close enough, so I'll write 0050 on my paper. And 51 for the accumulated depreciation, but I'm just going to change the name to be delivery vehicles cost opening balance 1st of June, it's on the debit side 22800 and save. Now, as I know, 0050 was the delivery vehicles at cost. 0051 will be my accumulated depreciation.
Making sure everything is exactly how it is on the paper. Accumulated depreciation. I'm going to click on there. Now I'm going to click yes. 1st of June. It's on the credit side. 5,000. Save. And save again. Fixtures and fittings. It's my next one. Again, fixtures and fittings is a fixed asset. So I'm going to press zero and see if I've got one there. So there is one here. So I can use 0040 and 41 for the accumulated, making sure I write that number on my paper. So fixtures and fittings. Dash cost. Opening balance. 1st of June, debit side 6445, and save. Save again. 0041, as it's the accumulated depreciation. And I'm going to change it to be in line. Fixtures and fittings. And then I'll click on the opening balance. Yes, 1st of June, credit side 1625. Save and save again. Bank account is a current asset. So I know I need to look under ones, but you should all know it because I made you learn it. It's 1200. So just check that it is exactly, which it isn't, because it's a small C and it's a small A. Opening balance, yes, 1st of June. It's on the debit side, 13984.24. And save. And save again. Petty cash, 1230. Making sure it's the same spelling as the paper. And don't forget to write the nominal code on your paper. 1st of June, debit £75. Save and save again. Sales ledger control account is a current asset. So it's under one, one zero zero the debtors control account but we want it to be called what's on our paper and then you'll see that the balance should be the same because it's from our opening balances that we put on the customer so the sales ledger and the purchase ledger we never put the balances in because they're the opening balances that we put in when we create our customers and our suppliers opening balance. So all we're doing is checking it's the same amount. If it is, fantastic, you did task one 100% correct. So I'll just press save to that. The next one is our purchase ledger again. It's a liability, so it will be under 2100. We're only changing the name to be purchase ledger control account and again remember sales ledger control account purchase ledger control account basically the ones with number one in the note you do not put in the opening balance because it's already there from when you created your suppliers and you entered the opening balance we're just checking it is 237613 which it is so I can save we're now on the sales tax control account. Sales tax control account is 2200 and 2201 is our purchase tax control account. So we're just checking it's in the same. And then we're going to put in our opening balance. 
first credit side one two one hundred save save again and our purchases is two two zero one make sure it's the same as your paper and don't forget to write it on your paper open your balance debit side 7540 and save and save capital I taught you was 3000 so we're just going to click on opening balance first 40093.02 it is important that you put the opening balance exactly how it is on the paper otherwise you'll have problems later on which i'll explain online sales so these are your sales sales comes under the fours so i'm going to use four thousand for the first one and call it online sales there is no opening balance it says nil so i'm just going to save it I'm going to go 4001 for the next one. Sales to shops north. No balance. I'm just going to go save. 4002 sales to shops south. Save because there's no balance. We've now got purchases. Purchases come under 5,000. So the first one will be 5,000. And I'm going to say purchases completed units. No balance. So just save it, making sure you've spelled it correct. And 5001 for the next one. Purchases raw materials and save. Wages, rent rates all go under 7000. So, what we could do is we could cheat a bit. If I click on the drop down and I click on name, you will see that I've put them in alphabetical order. If I press W for wages, you will see that there are wages here. I just choose the one that I want, write the number down. So I'm going to choose 7005. And then I call it what I want to call it from my paper. Save. Now if I click on the drop down, I don't need to click on name again. Because it's already in alphabetical order. So if I press E. I can find electricity, 7200, I'll write that on my paper. Make sure it's how it is on the paper and I can save. Rent and rate, so, ah, so I don't have rent and rates, but I do have rent. As long as it's in the 7000s, it's fine, because it's an expense, so rent, and rates save next one delivery vehicle expenses i probably won't have that so i'm going to have to make one up in the 7000 so i'm going to click on account and i'm going to go to seven and then i can choose a number that's not been used so if you look it goes one two three four five six seven eleven and then it jumps or I could do 7101, which I think would be better. So 7101, it's telling you it's a new account. So I'm happy with that. Delivery, vehicle, expenses. Make sure you've written it on your paper. Next one, bank charges. So I'm going to click on name and look for B and bank charges 7901. It's there, so I don't need to do anything as long as I write on my paper. 
stationary. So there's nothing there for stationary. So if I click on number, go to seven and find a number. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use seven one zero five. Save. And then I'm looking for travel and sustenance. So let's put that in alphabetical. Travel. 7400 is the closest. So I'll just change that to be how it is on the paper. Travel and sustenance. And save. And now I've created all my nominal codes. Before I move on, I want to make sure that it balances. Okay, so I'm going to click on trial balance, preview always. Click on the drop down, scroll to the top, and then you'll find June. You don't need to save it, you don't need to print it. What we're doing is we're checking that our debits and credits will always equal the same but we're checking that there is no suspense if you see 9999 suspense and then you've got a balance it means you've made a mistake with one of your entries so you'll need to check each transaction on your paper to find out what you did you might have done 500 instead of 5000 so you'll need to go back to 0051 and add another 4500 because your suspense is on the 4500 debit side but mine's fine so that means i know i've done task one two and three a hundred percent correct and if you look task three is 19 marks so you cannot afford to make a mistake and there we have it task three is now complete